Give your concerns to the universe. Let go of control. In today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about. But if you're new to the channel, my name is Tyson. This is Owning Purpose, helping you to discover your gift and own your purpose in life. And on this channel, we talk about personal growth, breaking limiting beliefs, spirituality, relationships, attachment, and so much more. <laughs> the topics just keep rolling, okay? Um, I want to talk about this topic today because I believe there's a lot of people who are stressing out that don't need to. And when you are trying to be in so much control of whatever it is that's happening in your life, whether it's a new job, whether it's people at your job, whether it's your boyfriend, your husband, a crush, whether it's money, you end up actually stressing yourself out a lot more. And as someone who just recently graduated from college, I went to Florida State University, so go Knowles. <laughs> but as somebody who graduated from college, I know how it feels to be like, what is the next step, right? Maybe you just left your job and you're kind of like, what is the next step? Where am I going to be going next? And I had the same similar thought myself where I was just kind of like, what am I going to do now? And I was starting to realize that I was in such control of everything. I was trying to be in control of, you know, when I was going to move out of my mom's house, <laughs> right? I was trying to be in control of when I'm going to have a new car or when I'm going to get a new phone or when I might get a camera for YouTube or all these different things, right? When am I going to apply to the job? And I realized that I actually don't need to be worried about any of that. You just graduated. How about you focus on celebrating your success? How about you focus on resting? And so a lot of us, we try to be in such control when in reality, if you trust in the universe or you believe in God or whatever your source of spiritual practice is, you understand that there is only so much in our physical bodies and our physical capabilities that we can do within um, this realm, with, within the everyday practice. You can only apply to so many jobs, right? You can only uh, text that guy or that girl so many times, right? You can only do so much research for a car or a house or an apartment or whatever. And so we spend so much time worrying and less time in the present moment. So today I want you to practice being in the present moment. Because when we're in the present moment, and when we let go of controlling things and trying to feel like we have to have everything pulled together, we actually can enjoy our life a lot more. So what I started doing is saying, okay, instead of freaking out about all these things that I really don't need to be worried about because I'm really young and they will come in time and to let go, I started making a plan for the week. So today I'm doing a YouTube video. Tomorrow, I'll do a YouTube video, but I also will work out. I also will go out to coffee shops and do other work. I will buy things and research different stuff. Like one of the things I want to do is start learning how to roller skate. I know it's like a disgrace as a black man. I don't know how to roller skate, but <laughs> it's something that I do want to learn. And it's something that I want to practice. I do know how to do it. I just am not like perfect at it. And my Capricorn behind... I want to be perfect at it. <laughs> so you see, there's just small things that we can create in our life. So if you're trying to get a job right now, and you're like, Tyson, I don't have time to just be chilling around. Uh, well, then start applying to jobs. Do six jobs a day, right? Just, just apply to six jobs a day. You don't have to apply to all these massive jobs. You can apply to 20, 30 jobs a day and still not get the job, right? Or still not get any of those jobs or get the interviews and not get the jobs. My point here is, is that when you trust in God, when you trust in the universe, when you trust that source is guiding you every single day, you're going to be fine. There's no reason to stress. And I know you might be like, okay, well, I have bills, Tyson. You don't get it. <laughs> I have like, you know, a really important dinner that I'm trying to plan with my boss and I really want my husband to come and I'm trying to get him to show up and support me and it just... You don't understand. It's very important to me. You're right. I have no clue what's happening to the person who's watching this video or what you're going through. But what I do know is that if you take your hands off of trying to be in such a control freak or such a perfectionist or trying to have things so 
deep in order that you can't enjoy life, that it's, it's just gonna bring you more stress. So let go of thinking that you need to do all of this, you need to have all of this. And even if you're a person who just recently graduated or you're getting ready to leave college or leave grad school or whatever, and you're in the same place where I'm at, where you're graduated, you're done with school, you, you really are like, what else is there? Enjoy it. Enjoy it. <laughs> I told myself, I was like, <coughs> excuse me. I was like, at least for the next 10 years, I'm gonna be working, right? Like, life is going to be another chapter. So why don't I just enjoy, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> why don't I just enjoy the things I have now? <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm dying over here. Um, enjoy your life. You know, I even think to myself, even when I make these YouTube videos, now I'm like, I don't really care to edit my videos anymore. I trust that my videos will reach the right people. I've been doing this for three years and I have tons of other videos that have edits in them and, and cool transitions and stuff. And I got to a point a couple months ago where I was like, I trust that the universe is gonna spread my videos to those who need it. I trust that whatever's happening with my channel, it'll happen when it's supposed to. I literally, I don't even like, really ask for anything anymore because I believe that everything that I'm working for and putting my work into, everything will manifest in the right time or in the right season. And when you try to be in control of when specific things happen, it's, it's not going to be very good for you because now you're being in such resistance of allowing the supernatural to do what the supernatural does, which is hand over and take over and do things that we cannot do in this physical realm and with our physical capabilities. Our mind can only do so much, right? We can only contact someone and hope that maybe they contact us back, but it's not something if we, if they are not responding to us, we can't control that, right? I can't call my mom and you know, if she picks up one time and then I need her to call the next time or pick up the next time I call her and it's really urgent and really important and I call her three times, she doesn't pick up, I can't rush that situation. I'm not around her, I don't know what she's doing. So that is a perfect example. Understanding you are only in control of so little and our ego will try to tell us, no, you can do, you can push forward and society will tell you that you gotta keep going, you gotta find the next thing and it's like, you keep going and going and going and you don't ever find peace, right? A lot of people don't enjoy their life because they just get up and go to work every day. They get up and go to work every day. And then they come home and they have a family and they have kids or they just have a lot of responsibility and they're tired. But what if they allowed themselves to slow down more? If that meant that, you know, I have to take a day off and maybe fake like I'm sick because I need to take care of myself. I need to take care of my mental estate, right? Our bodies can only do so much. And a lot of times we force ourselves, and I think a lot of times the universe and our angels and our guides kind of slow us down when we, ha when we get sick. <laughs> when you fall down the stairs and you're, and you're hurt. There's a lot of things that happen when we rush ourselves that we don't even realize is actually, sometimes it is, I, I truly believe. It's our guides kind of telling us, hey, you need to kind of slow down. You know, you're, you're doing a little bit too much, you're moving too fast. And I've had these things happen, whether it's like um, I get stuck in traffic, right? I'm rushing to try to get somewhere. Or my phone like drops out of my hand or something and I have to like, you know, pick it up and make sure that it's okay or, um, you know, like I had one time tea spilled on my laptop. I was such in a rush to get work done. I wasn't even paying attention. And then my, I had to go and get my laptop fixed. So there's so many things that happen over time that if we pay attention to the signs when we're rushing and when we're trying to get so ahead in life, if we pay attention to what's actually going on, we can actually slow down. If we pay attention to the traffic that we're in when we're trying to rush, our phone falling, our coffee spilling on our work clothes, or maybe it's um, your computer not working or turning on, right? Even though you know that it's charged and it's healthy and it's good. There's a lot of things spiritually that happen when we are trying to be so much in control 
And if you stop pressuring yourself into doing all the time what society wants us to do with rushing to get things done, um, you know, like even editing this video or, or uploading this video, I should say, I can do that tonight. I can do it tomorrow. I don't have to have a schedule all the time. I tell you guys all the time, I drop videos multiple times throughout the week, every single week, and I do that, right? And so I don't wanna have specific days. I don't want to have specific times and all this other stuff. I have I, ha I have learned a lot with my channel and I've learned a lot uh, within myself and I don't have to follow all these things. I don't have to force myself into creating a course right away. Of course, I love those things, but it'll come to me when spirit wants me to do that or when I get all creative and I feel a burning passion to put it out there. That is when I will begin my journey. So my point here is stop trying to be in control of your life and stop trying to push yourself so much to get things done all the time. Sometimes you got to take care of responsibility and that is just being smart. But when you find yourself overdoing things or putting plans in your schedule that you really don't need to do, you don't need to have, you know, that, you know, I don't know, you don't need to have that outfit right now, right? You don't need to have all these things. You don't have to buy the shoes and get the camera for YouTube and do all these different things right now, right? But what you do have to do is budget your money, right? Pay your expenses on time, right? All those things are very important. But if you don't understand that rushing your manifestation or rushing, you know, for you to, like I said, like my example of getting out of this house, <laughs> Um, you don't have to rush everything. You don't have to rush getting a job if that's not what you really need to do. And even if you need a job right now, sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. So my message to you today, even though I did not plan on this video being like 12 minutes long, my message to you today is to remind yourself, do not force yourself to do things that don't need to be done. Take your hands off of the things you cannot control. Pray to God the universe, whatever you believe in spiritually, if you are a spiritual person, and just ask for guidance because you will be guided. Ask for help because you will have help. And just do your best every single day. Take care of your responsibilities, but stop stressing yourself out. Give your worries to the universe and simply say, I let go. I let go. If you enjoyed this video today, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below any other extra topics that you want me to maybe make a video on, um, or uh, you all can also go down in, in the description box, and um, my TikTok is down there, and my Instagram is down there. On my TikTok, I talk about relationships, attachment styles, breaking away from attachments, all that really good, cool stuff. So if you're into any of those type of topics of spirituality, personal growth, breaking limiting beliefs, relationships, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell because like I said earlier, I do drop videos multiple times throughout the week, each and every week. Comment down below your thoughts on today's video. Comment down below any other suggestions or video topics that you want to hear next. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day today. Peace.